What's up guys, my name's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to download free audio tracks from YouTube Studio so that you can add them to any of your video projects. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is firstly go to YouTube Studio. So if you have a look here, I've already typed in YouTube Studio, but if you have a look up here, I've already got the YouTube stats up here, so I can just click on that. Once you click on this, you need to log into your account. I've already done that over here. Uh, you can see down the side, once you log into your YouTube uh, studio page, that you have all of the different things down the side here. So you've got your dashboard, your content, your playlist, your analytics, comments, um, subtitles, your copyright, your monetization, customization, and then of course your audio library. Audio library is what we're going to be looking at today. It's where you can download free audio tracks to put into your projects uh, or any of your videos that you're creating so that you don't get a copyright strike uh, if you upload vi videos with any other audio that is um, not copyright free. Okay, so first thing that you'll notice up the top here, it says audio library. You've got free music, uh, you've got sound effects, and then you've got starred. Now, at the moment, I'm making a video that just has some drone footage of Noosa. So what I'm gonna need is some, probably some cinematic um, backing music. So you can come and uh, filter any of the songs that you want. So for example, um, you could have the track and title, you could um, look at the genre. So if I wanted cinematic, uh, I could press that, or if I wanted pop, or if I wanted hip hop, any of those, I can then apply. Uh, then it will automatically sort for you, just like filters work. Um, then you can come over and choose your mood. So I could be inspirational or I don't know, calm maybe, uh, and then apply. Once you've done all your filters, all you need to do now is go through the sounds and see which backing tracks that you like. So let's listen to the first one. Now, once you've listened to hours and hours of different uh, tracks you might like to download lots of them along the way and then see which one fits best uh, I know that this is the most time-consuming part of my projects because I like to really uh, Listen to a lot of tracks to make sure I get the right track to set the mood for my videos Once you've done that you need to come and download so over here you can press download and What will happen is that will just download into my downloads on my Mac um, I it, if I click on it it automatically opens up into my music but let's say that um, I was happy to download that music. All I need to do now is go into my downloads and I can see that in my downloads here, I've got that song there. I can chuck it into my media library over here. This is in Premiere Pro. You can do the same thing um, if you're using iMovie or Final Cut Pro or DaVinci. Once I've got that, I can add it to my um, clip here. Now, obviously I haven't really edited this much, just uh, got it there for the purpose of this video. So what I'm gonna show you now is how you can then just play it. And there you go. So that was the first one that I found. Obviously I download lots of different uh, backing tracks for lots of different um, videos and then I would choose which one suits best. All right, so once you've downloaded your track, you can actually also airdrop it to your iPad or your phone if you're editing on any of those devices other than your computer. The problem with YouTube Studio that I found is that you can't actually use the audio library on your iPad or your phone. So you kind of need a computer to actually download all the songs or what I've um, been able to find so far. None of the apps are actually compatible with the audio library. So I've had to use a computer to be able to download it. I'm not sure if you just use Google to then search up your YouTube studio and then download it that way. It might actually work that way, I'm not sure. But let's say that you found the audio track on your computer. All you need to do now is to right click uh, if you've turned the right click on, of course, um, in the settings on your Mac, then what you need to do is press share and from share, then you can press airdrop. Of course, this only works if you're using Apple devices. It won't work with the PC um, over to an iPad. So then press airdrop and then you'll see um, your iPad or your uh, phone or whatever it is that you're editing on um, pop up. So I can see my phone there. I'm not actually editing on my phone, but you can see that my phone pops up and I can press 
share on that and then it'll airdrop to my phone and I can put it into my files or clip or voice recorder. Uh, and then it just sends there. So then if I was editing, say on iMovie on an iPad, then I can use this backing clip instead of just the iMovie um, presets that they've already got. So that's a really easy way to use uh, YouTube Studio and the audio library to download free backing tracks for your videos to make them a little bit more interesting than I guess the iMovie background music. All right guys that's all for me today I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment if you uh, have any advice or any tips and tricks for other YouTube users. As always thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.